None of these movies have the words Endgame, Skywalker, or Joker in the title. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 movies no one saw in 2019. I can barely breathe right now. That was <laughs> yeah, was it hard for you when I was being held at screwdriver point? For this list, we're taking a look at movies that received wide releases in 2019, even if they premiered at film festivals the year before, yet flew under the radar and deserve to be discovered heading into 2020. Number 10, High Flying Bird. I know that feeling, you know. <laughs> I know. Yeah. It's like it's funny because, you know, it's catchy but not contagious. How is it possible that Steven Soderbergh, one of our greatest directors, and Terrell Alvin McCraney, the co-writer of Moonlight, made a movie that seemingly nobody's heard of? <laughs> okay. But is it true? Released on Netflix in February, High Flying Bird is one of the most unconventional basketball movies ever made. In the spirit of Moneyball, it's less about the action that takes place on the court and more about the game that happens behind closed doors. Every year we have this day to celebrate or at least commemorate those who balled before. Andre Holland plays a sports agent who plans to radically change the game during an NBA lockout. Deals are made, promises are broken, and it's rarely clear who has the upper hand. Playing out like an intense chess tournament, the film demonstrates that no game is more strategic or savage than business. Don't let them fool you all your life, fella. You were born for way more than this. Number nine, Blinded by the Light. Mister, I ain't a boy. No, I'm a man. And I believe in a promised land. Director Gorinda Chatta made a name for herself with indie films like Bend It Like Beckham and Bride and Prejudice. She delivers yet another feel-good treasure with Blinded by the Light. Like some of her previous films, this joyous coming-of-age story tackles themes of family, culture clash, and embracing change. Where did you get the money to buy these tickets? I earned it at the Herald. You told me that they didn't pay you. It's also something of a throwback to 80s dance movies, with the songs of Bruce Springsteen driving the narrative forward. Vivek Kalra shines in his debut film role as Javed, the son of two Pakistani immigrants who's expected to follow in their footsteps. You are Pakistani, you are my son! Yes, I don't wanna be your son! I wanna be more than that! Through Bruce's music and lyrics, though, Javed is inspired to become his own boss. It's humorous, heartfelt, and harmonious, and we implore you to check out this overlooked gem and finally see the light. We drive out of this valley, down to where the fields were green. Number 8, High Life. I like it here. This reminds me of Juvie. Reminds me of jail. <laughs> Robert Pattinson starred in two of 2019's strangest and most claustrophobic films. While you might have heard of The Lighthouse, High Life was almost entirely disregarded by audiences. Originally premiering at TIFF in 2018 and later opening in the US in April of the next year, Claire Denis' film is surreal, shocking, and occasionally slow, but the experience will stick with you nonetheless. None of the rest of us could do this. Pattinson plays Monty one of several convicts who's been sent to live out the remainder of their lives on a spacecraft. Like everyone, I'd used the box. But as time passed, I chose abstinence over indulgence. Jumping between different time periods with an overarching sense of mystery, it's drawn comparisons to the works of Christopher Nolan, Stanley Kubrick, and Andrei Tarkovsky. Like many of their films, High Life invites endless analysis and will leave you thinking long after the credits roll. What? Number seven, Under the Silver Lake. Come on in! The water's so refreshing! Premiering at Cannes in 2018, the American release of Under the Silver Lake almost a year later received relatively little fanfare. Like director David Robert Mitchell's previous film, It Follows, this neo-noir thriller isn't for everyone. For cinephiles who are always on the lookout for originality, however, this is one of those movies where you never know what's gonna happen next. Andrew Garfield stars as a slacker who uncovers a conspiracy involving his missing neighbor and subliminal messages. As more clues pile up, the mystery only gets weirder, funnier, and more convoluted. In the vein of David Lynch, you may not be sure what you're watching, but that only makes you want to venture further down the rabbit hole. I was wondering if you might know how I can get in touch with Jesus. I am the wrong guy to ask. Oh, I mean the lead singer in the band. Number six, Late Night. 
I think people get very excited when you share your beliefs. So what you just said about the Miss America pageant, that was awesome. When you reveal those kind of strong opinions, it's when you really come alive as a performer. If you blended the Devil Wears Prada, the Late Shift, and the Marvelous Mrs. Maisel together, you'd get this insightful and criminally underrated dramedy. Writer, co-star Mindy Kaling draws from her own experiences as a woman and a person of color in the world of comedy. Kaling plays an aspiring comedy writer who strikes up an unlikely partnership with television's only female late-night talk show host, played by Emma Thompson. Okay, I've been doing this job for nearly 30 years and I know what works, and I'll tell you what doesn't work. An absurdly confident newcomer coming in, criticizing my show and giving me her assessment of my comic persona. Despite coming from opposite sides of the tracks, the two women find that they share many of the same struggles and, as a team, can change the landscape of comedy forever. The film is wise and relevant without ever coming off as preachy, making audiences laugh while also making them think. You love me. No, I didn't say that. I, no. I mean, not in those words, but you... No, I didn't say it in any of those words. Number five, her smell. They deserve the best. As for me, I need this. In pretty much every movie about a musical group, there comes a point where one band member goes off the deep end. From the very beginning of Her Smell, however, lead singer Becky Something has already spiraled out of control, and she only plunges deeper towards rock bottom as the plot unfolds. Elizabeth Moss dominates the screen as a punk rock goddess who's simultaneously full of life and knocking on death's door. In this drama that was first shown to TIFF audiences in 2018 and later opened in theaters in April 2019. Through director Alex Ross Perry's lens, the audience feels as if they're backstage at a concert, watching a train wreck unfold. And her smell is not easy to sit through. As the film approaches its final curtain, though, we're given a glimmer of hope at the end of a dark tunnel. Once in your life you found someone who will turn your world around. Number four, the peanut butter falcon. Back. You have a young boy with Down syndrome in the middle of nowhere. All right, well, while you've been doing paperwork, we've been doing something called living. Modernizing the story of Huck Finn, the peanut butter falcon follows Tyler, a fisherman on the run, and Zach, a wannabe wrestler with Down syndrome, who take off down the river together. Maybe we could be friends and buddies, bro dogs, and chill. Have a good time. Shia LaBeouf and newcomer Zach Gottsagen share a natural chemistry as two social outcasts who slowly but surely become as thick as thieves. Dakota Johnson is equally wonderful as Zach's caretaker, who comes to realize that he's ready to leave the nest. It might not have been a blockbuster, but there is a reason why this little movie earned an A-plus cinema score and even had its fair share of sold-out screenings. Within the first few minutes, it puts a smile on your face that will stay there. Rule number one, don't slow me down. Rule number two, I'm in charge. Hey, what's rule number one? Party. No, not party. Number three, the last black man in San Francisco. We like having you here, Jim. I know, bro. But, you know, there's no place like home. This deeply poignant drama earned Joe Talbot a directing award at the Sundance Film Festival, as well as a special jury award. The critical reception was just as glowing when the film released later in June. For whatever reason, though, people aren't talking about The Last Black Man in San Francisco nearly as much as they should. I shouldn't get to appreciate them because they're mean to me. That's silly. Jimmy Fails not only stars in the film, but also contributed to the semi-autobiographical screenplay. As the city he grew up in continues to change, Jimmy attempts to salvage his childhood home. Turning San Francisco into a veritable character itself, the film is an eye-opening exploration of what makes a house a home, and the trials that come with finding one's place in the world. Do you love it? It's, I mean, yeah, I'm here, but do I have to love it? You don't get to hate it unless you love it. Number two, The Farewell. 2019 has been another great year for Asian performers, and The Farewell is a key example. We already know that Aquafina can be a laugh riot, but she demonstrates untapped dramatic potential here. As Billy, she plays a young woman who was born in China and grew up in the States. Billy revisits her roots upon learning that her grandmother is dying from lung cancer. How bad is she? You can tell me the truth. The cancer is quite advanced. Shouldn't we tell her? Rather than telling Grandma, the family decides to uphold tradition and spare her the bad news. Torn between cultural customs, Billy realizes she's missed out on a major part of her life. Not everyone gets to make up for lost time, but you can definitely catch up with this earnest family film if you missed it in theaters. 
So I watched Late Night on a Plane recently, and honestly, I loved it, and I related to it so much, and I cannot stop telling people to watch it. I really wish more people had seen it. So what movie did you see this year that you wish more people had seen? Could it be number one on this list? Let's see some honorable mentions, and then we will find out. I want to run the New York City Marathon. I think that is such a good idea. Hmm, that's a bad omen. I think Bo did it to help me. Like, if someone else had different abilities like me, maybe I would feel more okay. The, the most important thing uh, about learning in this, in this situation is that you somehow make a connection between your experience and the experience you're trying to film. Why are you giving me this? I want you just to take responsibility. I never meant to take away your hope. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Booksmart Booksmart is proof that intelligent, hilarious comedies are still being made today. The problem is, audiences aren't really seeing them and studios are not marketing them correctly. Beanie Feldstein and Caitlin Deaver couldn't be more genuine as two best friends who decide to live a little at the tail end of their high school careers. What follows is a wild night full of surprises, disappointments, and epiphanies. Here, try one of these strawberries. Okay. <sighs> no, 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 no. Feldstein and Deaver are accompanied by an uproarious supporting cast, with Billy Lord stealing the show as a party animal who never burns out. While the film deserved to make a much larger dent at the box office, Booksmart has cult classic written all over it, and will hopefully be the first of many features from director Olivia Wilde. And it cost $71,000 to house an inmate in California. It's more than Harvard. Well, it seems excessive. Shotgun. Just kidding. I don't have one. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.